I've been trying to get a review video of the Floto H8 forever, and I actually got the footage and lost it while I was transferring it, so it never made it to YouTube. But I did get a chance to ride it a little bit in between the raindrops. I just went out, beat the crap out of it, so you can see what it'll handle, what it'll do. The first half of the video, you're looking down at the speedometer, so you can see my speeds and whatever, but you, you can't really see where I'm going. The second half, I tilt the camera up so you can see where I'm going. And if you hear a grunt or a wince or something, just remember I'm 50-something years old and disabled. But I'm still hitting the trails um, with the bike because... So it'll take it. And there's a link below if you want to check it out. I do get some money from, from it if you buy using that link, which will help my channel out a little bit, but won't sway my reviews. And once the weather dries up, I'm hoping I can do a full review video of it. And then I can move on to my next bike and like and subscribe my videos because the sub subscribers are the only way I'm going to get any of the bike companies to send me any more bikes to review. So if you want to see more reviews, like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down, leave a comment, tell me what you want to see. And eventually I'm going to be doing some videos where I'm changing out parts on the bikes to make them fit me better because I'm six foot two. 240 pounds and hopefully I'll get to do the review video in about a week all right thanks for watching okay I was gonna try to get a quick review video in but it's starting to rain it's gonna rain for four days but here's my Philo with a couple of the things I added on it and I can't tell you much about it because it's already starting to rain. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. These look like unbranded zoom brakes. The forks also look like they're zoom. You shot it's a single caliper brakes. 22 amp hour battery, which if I give you any advice or you take any advice from me, get a big battery. And then get the bike you want around it. This is all-wheel drive. 1,000 watts in the back. 1,000 watts in the front. And two 22-amp controllers. One down here. And one up here in this little bag. So there's a little extra room in the bag if you want to put a little toolkit or something like that in there. Alright, before I get rained out, we're going to go for a ride. But it's going to be more of an endurance ride than uh, the normal test you're used to watching. Because I'm not going out on the wet roads with the cars in California. I'm going to stay out to, in the sand and the, all the trails. Oh, All right, let's go. It's the Philo H8 in the rain. And I really hope there's not a raindrop on the lens. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, most of the rattling you hear is the stuff I put on the bike, my keys, and my rack, well, my rack bag. Oh. You can hear those shocks work when they hit the ground. Um, you take a quick look at the camera. Yep, you're still looking. My arm keeps going in front of the camera. I got to keep pulling my hat down. All right, this is where the kids come to play on the dirt bikes. I don't know how much you can see. That hill in the center is like a, the store, the height of a one-story building. And the hill that I'm on, about to go down, is about the same height, maybe a little higher. Well, let's see how this works out. Nice and easy. Just to give you a little bit of a point of view to see how tall this is and how steep it is. There's that, and everybody comes down here to dump their garbage. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can make it up. Oh, sh I got to backtrack and find a glove. Which I should have on because my hands are cold. All right, I'm going to try this still with a little run-up. No pedaling. Oh, a little pedaling to get going. No problem. No pedals. No problem. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm just trying to drain the pegs right at the bottom of my book. Probably fell off right when I started. Um, no, I came this way. Yep, it fell off right away. Said I should have these on. It's like 45 degrees out, I think. All right, we're a little off trail now. that I didn't hit that at top speed. Sand might be slowing me down a little bit. Oh yeah, as you can see, I've already got over 170 miles on this bike. So I pretty much, much know what it'll do and what it won't do. And this this is what it's made for right here, is all this loose sand. I tried taking my regular mountain bike out here. It's just way too much work when you're in sand up to your axles. These trails I haven't been on before, so I'm not really sure where I'm going. But people out here love these whoop de doos They're all over the place. For me, I know if I get up enough speed to jump one, I'm going to run right into the next, so no fun for me. Oh, drink. Got a 
it's definitely an endurance test on the bike and the rider. Oh. That's it for me. Holy crap. Those things take it out of you. Oh. Like I'm right back to where I started. Imagine hit, hitting this bump and jumping down into there. As I'm stopping, taking a break for a minute to check out, I've only went, well, just about three miles through all the sand. It's still resting voltage is 52.1. Current, for, for some reason on here, it doesn't work. I don't know, maybe because it's split. Oh, yeah. No. Guess I'll try coming in from this side since I'm here. <sighs> We're gonna <look> to use. <sighs> oh crap, I forgot to turn it up. Oh. Can't even get stay on the throttle going up this hill. Because the bumps on the way will throw you off. <sighs> Actually, I think it stopped raining. It's still cloudy and cold. The top speed for me is usually right around 30 miles an hour. There always seems to be some kind of wind here because we're down in between all the hills. So I'm always fighting the wind coming across or whatever. But I think I've had this up to 36 miles an hour So I was pedaling my ass off. It would be nice if the biggest sprocket up front, which is 42 teeth, was close to a 50, 50 key tooth, and just a single sprocket. If you're going to have the three sprockets up front, have a 52, 54 tooth sprocket, be the largest one. You guys are eventually going to see me crash. We're just like going fall off the back. My hands are frozen, I'm tired. Oh. All right, I stopped and looked at some of the footage. I'll point the camera up a little bit further so you guys can see more of the trail. You've seen enough of the screen. I'm not sure what, how much of it you're going to get, but... Ah. I don't know if that was any smoother. Oh. Couldn't even stay on my seat. That hill was not any steeper. I'd have to pedal. Right. 
and this battery when it dies it doesn't just drop off you get about halfway down you'll know it's dying because your top speed will only be like 25 miles an hour but that's after now oh, like 30 miles of normal riding so if you're 30 miles from home and it starts slowing down on you ugh. I don't know where I'm going. Whew. And it starts slowing down on you. Start heading home. I completely lost the trail I wanted. <sighs> That's the set. I'm just kind of making a trail heading towards my house. I really should have dropped some tire pressure out of my tires. Kind of like 10 pounds or something to suck up some of these bumps. But it's hard to get it gauge. There we go. Now my my hand can rest for a minute. But only a minute. It's about thirty miles an hour in the flat. But it's still from rolling the distance. Yeah, my tires are probably a little soft due to the temperature. I gotta keep looking down to make sure my mic is still there. Mud puddles are testing agility all by themselves. Rah! Whoosh! Oh, yeah, I gotta go back the way I came. I'll take a different test that last part. Bumps even on the flat. <laughs> My best is on a dog. Yeah, slightly. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to end my ride here. 
Ah, I can't see what the camera's seeing. So we'll end right here. The Philodo H8. There's none worse for the wear. Nothing fell apart. Maybe some pieces fell off the rider. That's about it. I right, hope you enjoyed it. Hope, well, when the, all this weather clears up, I can make an actual review video. Tell you more about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. Hit the like, unlike. Tell me why you hit it. If the video sucked, tell me why it sucked. If the video was good, tell me why it was good. If I missed something, which I, I know I did because I didn't do the whole review, tell me what you want to see and it'll be in the review when I do it. All right, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell.